So finally, it's been a long time since one of the most popular custom launchers out there is just not released for Android 13 yet. But while making this video, it's here. It's finally here. Although it's not official, it's unofficial version by the most commonly known developer, Mr. Sluffy. All thanks to him. All credits goes to him that you will be able to use launcher on your devices running Android 13. That's actually quite good. Although it's in beta stage and the uh, settings etc are a little bit laggy i'll talk about all those things first of all yes i'm using android 13 and i'm using launcher with all the gestures etc are just working perfectly fine so that's good let me just give you the confirmation i'm testing it in project elixir which is based on android 13 version 3.3 here if i move on to the options which are available in launcher in this latest version are just kind of same it's of course not official one so you can see the launcher version is 12.1.2 developer version here are some of the customizations which are included you can enable the notification dots if you want to by granting the notification access second thing is you have the icon style options available which actually is not having any kind of icon tags pre-installed i mean lawn icons are not there but if you need you can use you can get those, those loan icons i'll provide you the link in the description for that go ahead and install and if those apks and done you also have the customizable search bar widget where you can use the launcher search bar widget or if you want to use a google search bar widget it's totally up to you and you can customize that one thing is the google's launch google's customize that widget is not uh, having the async color customization i'm not sure about that but that's it about other things recents having the, all these options you can see screen corner radius etc as you can see recents are working fine but here comes the bug let me tell you which bug i'm talking about you can see things are there if you enable this option taskbar it's just gone launcher is not working i tried enabling doing anything everything it's just not working at all you can see it's not there so i will recommend you not to enable this option or else you need to reflash that launcher module etc etc but i'm here to experiment for you so this is it we have this app launcher app unofficial magisk module which is of course by the developer mr sluffy links credits everything is already available in the description so now it's time to show you that how you can install this thing on your device it's quite easy by the way but yes i have uninstalled this module just to show you that how you can install this thing on your device i have rebooted my device already moving on to the module section click on install from storage select the file it should not take much time in your case too so as you can see it's done and you can see sdk 33 after installing this after rebooting your device you will see launcher should be available for your device one thing let me tell you that if you are having boot loop if you face boot loop how you can recover from that if your recovery is mounted if your data is not encrypted you can simply move on to custom recovery data adb modules remove the module reboot done if your data is encrypted what you need to do is you need to use the boot loop saver magic module first so make sure you are not having any issues but other than else these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this if you like this video don't forget to like and share this and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this goodbye